Swish. Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants. Power by coming on the podcast. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez. Show my blah, 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 blah. The apple does not fall far from the tree. <clears throat> Who do you think I'm talking about? You can read the scrolling bar on the bottom. Yes, sir. But before we jump in, thank you so much for all of you who joined us tonight on the live with myself and Ben Daniel, who joined us again. It is always fun doing that with Ben. He is uh, He has that same passion that I have about this topic, so I enjoy doing this with someone who's passionate about this like I am. <clears throat> so thank you, Ben. If you haven't subscribed to the Ben Daniel podcast, please do so. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to us, please subscribe to us as well. Shador Sanders. <clears throat> Shador Sanders had a rough day yesterday. Colorado got their shit kicked out of them by Nebraska. <coughs> Excuse me. Nebraska gashed them the entire first half to a 28 0 lead. Nebraska had Shador running for his life. Dominated the line of scrimmage. Showed us that everything that Deion Sanders says is complete fugazi. <clears throat> the offense line is not improved, not bolstered, not anything. The offense line is still terrible. The defensive line still can't stop a runny nose. And they are the same team they were last year. In fact, they might be worse. Why? Because their running backs are actually worse than the ones they had last year that Dion was so quick to have no problem kicking to the curb. <clears throat> they can't run the ball. They can't run the ball because they don't try to run the ball. <clears throat> Excuse me. They ran the ball 22 times. Eight of those times was Shador Sanders. So they ran the ball 14 times. I'm sorry. Ryan Staub is the quarterback, the backup QB. So between Ryan Staub and Shador Sanders, you got 11 of the 22. They ran the ball 11 times. Understand that. 11 times. 11 times for 42 yards. If I include the negatives for Shador, it's 22 carries for 16 yards. They don't run the ball. They threw the ball 10 of the first 11 pass plays. They dropped back to pass 30 times in the first 34 plays of the first half. Well, I'm sorry, the, the first half they had 34 plays of offense. They had dropped back to they dropped back to pass 30 times. Shador Sanders got sacked, I'm guessing, at least five times. Running for his life most of the game. How do you prevent that? You prevent that by running the ball. You prevent that by not throwing on first down virtually every time. <clears throat> I'm not saying that Colorado will be able to be a big-time running team. But you can't be this bad. This is the same team we saw last year. And, of course, Dion will feed you his cup of jello pudding, throw in whatever ingredients that Bill Cosby used, and put you to sleep. And then wake you up and tell you, oh, I did nothing. We all, it was all, we, you know, we all agreed. Because I, I don't even know if that makes sense, but I don't even care. He feeds you his load of bull and you buy it, needless to say. You buy his load of bull, and you've been buying it since last year. Shador Sanders QBR in this game was 24.4, and this is the guy that they want to tell us is a top five pick in the draft. Deion Sanders' entire offense is schemed around Shador Sanders. It's all schemed around getting Shador as many throws as he can to make him look as good as humanly possible. and put up big numbers so that he can be drafted in the top five. Shador Sanders is a good court is a, is an above average to good quarterback. He's not a great quarterback. 
Anyone can be great when they have time to throw. <clears throat> Anyone can be great when they got six feet of room, six yards of room. It's those who can do when they don't, and those who can perform when they don't, who are the ones that are great. Shador Sanders holds the ball too long. He doesn't throw it away when he should because he doesn't want to damage his stats. They don't run the ball because Dion wants to pad those stats. Dion has created a culture of me, <clears throat> not a culture of we. It's a culture of me, not we. And that's what happens when you recruit a bunch of mercenaries to your program and you don't have high school recruits as a majority of your program. You have nothing but transfers. Literally, your class, your your your, your team is transfers. Now, your son, Shador Sanders, is just like you. Egotistical, arrogant, narcissistic. Culture of me. He was interviewed, and this is what he had to say. I mean, how many times did Riley get touched? How many times did Riley get touched? What do you think that's alluding to? That's alluding to him being running for his life the entire game. That's what he's alluding to. He's alluding to basically Dylan Raiola had time to throw, and he didn't have time to throw. Who was he taking a shot at? His offensive line. His offensive coordinator. His protection. How many times did Riley get touched? There was able, like, of course, of course, whenever you're able to run the ball consistently and whenever you're able to, <clears throat> then that opens up the pass, you know? But it's just. When you're able to run the ball, that opens up the pass. Shador, y'all drop back the pass 10 times in your first 11 plays. Comparatively, Nebraska. Dylan Raiola, complete pass for a loss of two yards. Second play was a two-yard gain. Third play, Raiola breaks free for a 12-yard gain. First down, complete pass. Second down, complete pass. First down, 13-yard run. First down, 12-yard run for touchdown. They didn't exactly run the ball immediately with Nebraska. They threw the ball in their first play. The 12-yard run by Rayola was a throw. So two of their first three plays were passes. They ran the ball a couple times, and they gashed y'all. Next possession, four plays, four plays, eight yards. Pass, pass, run, pass. <clears throat> That's Nebraska. They didn't exactly jump out running the ball a lot. Next possession, run, run, pass, run, run. This is where they started really running the ball and gashing them up and down the field. But I find it interesting how he says, you know, you run the balls of the pass. That's not what Nebraska did. But your team doesn't run the ball at all. They don't even attempt to run the ball. And the runs they do run are the same damn plays every damn time, so it's very easy to stop. There's no mixture in your offense. It's the same bullshit all the time. There's no creativity in how you and how you run the ball. <clears throat> it's like you gotta understand like what, what what your team good at. So it's like why would we keep running the ball if okay, we are we out there and we get in a situation where it's a must get and we don't get it. Why would you run the ball if you're not good at it? <laughs> hey Shador, would you like to have Alton McCaskill back in your backfield? The guy you said who is that or whoever the big would you like to have the, the I'm sorry, the guy that your your coaching staff said wasn't a dog? Would you like to have uh, Dylan Edwards back in your backfield? Or were you happy with Charlie Offerdahl? Are you happy with Dallin Hayden? I think that's his name. Dallin Hayden. Are you happy with Isaiah Augustive? I'm still waiting for that running back that Deion said was a dog who was going to pound people to play. He hasn't played in two weeks. Why is that? I thought he was a dog that was going to run people over. Nebraska didn't run the ball as well as fucking North Dakota State did. 
Well, Nebraska averaged four point three yards per carry. They didn't go crazy. Are those so, like kind of like fourth and one conversions that haven't gone you guys' way in the last couple? Of, is, is that kind of play into everybody's mind? Is that kind of something on your mind? <laughs> No, nah, I'd rather, if, if we're going to go down, I'd rather go down swinging, honestly, because I know I can throw the best punt. How many times did Riley get touched? Dion, 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 your son is just like you, a narcissistic, egotistical, arrogant mofo, man. He is just like you. You raised him to be just like you with the one exception. He does not have your skill. He does not have your talent. He does not have your ability. He does not have your speed. He plays a completely different position than you, but there's no one on earth that would consider him a top 100 quarterback if he was in the NFL right now. He wouldn't. I, 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 he would not be a starter in the NFL right now. There's not a soul in the league that would make that kid the starter. Did you just hear that interview? That guy would run his teammates over every single time. He would get in the bus, put on the bus cap, bus driver hat, and run his teammate, drive right over their asses, as he just did in the interview. <clears throat> that's a criticism of your coach, your OC. That's criticism of your running backs. That's criticism of your offensive line. That's criticism of everybody. Heck, it's a criticism of you. Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And you wonder why this team is going to look how it is, is looked how it looked and will continue to look how it looks. No surprise. We've all known who Shador Sanders was. Do you believe now? Yeah, I believe in exactly what Shador Sanders said. I believe that he is who he is and he is about me. He is a culture of me and not we. And that's why your team is going to stink. Because your own starting quarterback, your son, no, doesn't believe in his own team. He believes in himself. He might believe in Travis Hunter and, and, and Horn, but that's about it. I'm going to go down swinging. So I'll be damned. Not going to run the ball. We don't need to run the ball. Shador Center is going to be carried off the field at some point this year because they don't run the ball. What are your thoughts on Shador Center's comments? Surprised? I'm not. Not one bit. But leave a comment. Thought. Like this video. Share it. Let's get this football content going. Come on now.